Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for a Steam tutorial here today. Taking a look at a requested tutorial, which is how do you post your videos to Steam so that it appears for your friends on your friends list, and it also appears for people in the various game community hubs. And it's actually pretty simple to do that. All you have to do is hover over your username at the top of Steam, in my case it's Larry Chupacabra, and go down to the little section listed as content. And content takes up a whole host of different things. This includes your videos that you upload to the web, it also includes your artwork, your screenshots, your merchandise that you might be trying to sell, your workshop items, your collections, the guides you might have written, or projects that you might have out on Steam Greenlight. What we're looking for right now is the video section. You can also upload screenshots. Typically Steam prefers if you do that with this button and it'll open up the Steam screenshots bin. But what we're looking for is the video section. And basically the way that videos work on Steam is you don't actually upload anything to the platform itself. All of these videos that you see that I have linked to Steam right here, these were all videos that I co-uploaded to YouTube, and then Steam just embeds the YouTube player onto the platform, because video hosting is really space intensive, and it's expensive, and Steam doesn't want to do that. So basically, the way that you do it is you upload something to YouTube, and then once it's all uploaded and you either list it as unlisted or public, then you can go to this button here called Link, your YouTube account. Just click on this. Another little window will pop up that will show you the list of your Gmail accounts connected to, or at least that you're logged into that you can select from. Find the account that you have that has got all of your videos on it. Click on that and it should open up a list of all of the videos that you have available to link to Steam. It can take a moment or two, depending on what's going on with your internet, simply because Steam is literally using YouTube's API to log in to YouTube and pull up a list of all of your videos, their statuses, so that they can properly link it to the platform. Once you've got your YouTube successfully linked to Steam, you should get a page that looks an awful lot like this. It'll include a whole list of all of your videos for the most part, this includes videos for games that don't actually exist on Steam or for games that you don't actually own on your Steam account. And this will also pull up videos that are both public and private. Do note that trying to link one of your private videos that isn't public yet might cause problems. So wait, make it public before you do that. So now that I've got these videos open, I'm going to select whatever video that I want to add to Steam Check the little checkbox over here, just click when it's highlighted, and then it'll ask you to associate this video to a specific game. So this, as an example, is my first Vaporum video, so I'm gonna click on the drop-down menu and start typing in Vaporum, and it should bring it up down here at the bottom. Select that game and then click Add Video. Now, if for whatever reason, uh, you you have a video out there that you want to share on Steam that isn't actually on the platform, you can simply select it, like this Horizon Zero Dawn video, and type it in to the other slash unlisted, and I can say Horizon Zero Dawn. Now the downside to this is this will not show up on a community hub page for that game. So if you really want a lot of people to see it, that will prevent that from happening. So it's good to have, you know, games that you own on your Steam collection in here, because if I don't, like, say, own the first tree, it won't show up in this pulldown. This pulldown contains a list of all the different games that you have, so it can be kind of fiddly. So for my next one, I'm going to add Oxygen Not Included, which is a really fun game, thoroughly recommend. And that's pretty much it for the games that I want to link on here. Now, if I go to my Steam library and I go to all the games that I have installed and I say, go to the Paradigm page, I can go to the Community Hub and these links over here, and then I can show you where all of your videos will appear. So inside of every Community Hub, 
there is usually a video section. These are enabled by default for every game. I don't think you can turn them off. And your videos will appear in this community hub section. So that if you link it to Steam and people are interested in watching stuff on here, they can see it right here. I will say that for the most part, for 90% of games, most people don't bother to watch them on here. Uh, you can kind of get a feeling for how many people have seen these by how many likes or dislikes they have. There's quite a few videos that nobody seems to have interacted with pretty much at all. So Steam is not a significant source of views, but it's nice to add them onto here anyway, because all traffic or all links back to your videos are just good for SEO in general. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how to add videos to the content section of Steam. Basically, again, all you have to do is upload them to YouTube, make them public, and then add them to the video section here on YouTube. And then if you really want to, if you, for whatever reason you have to, you can click on the manage button and you can delete or change any of these videos depending on what your needs are by simply clicking on them. It'll add a little checkbox and then you can make changes. You can edit them, make them viewable to friends only, make them public, make them private. Whatever you want to do, they're available right there. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.